If we had to use one word to describe the Taliban, it might be serious. When they blow up a school, they seem really serious. When they open fire at a hospital, they seem serious. Unlike most Muslims in the West, they take the Quran seriously. Unlike most Muslims in the West, they take the commands of Muhammad seriously. These guys are always dead serious. So, when something makes them crack up laughing, we need to take note because we may have stumbled onto some high caliber comedy. It's like the old Life Cereal commercials. Little Mikey hated absolutely everything, but he sure liked Life Cereal, so you know it's good. What makes the least funny people on the planet burst out laughing? Let's find out. So would you believe in the democratic vote, though? So would people be allowed to vote in women politicians? <laughs> So, the idea of female politicians is comedy gold to the Taliban. So, would people be allowed to vote in women politicians? <laughs> Apparently, they don't have a problem with female comedians because this reporter is like the female Dave Chappelle to Taliban jihadis. Women politicians. <laughs> Comedy is subjective, Marie. Isn't that what they say? Now, why is the mere thought of a female leader the most hilarious thing in the world to the Taliban? Well, let's think about their prophet. In Sahih al-Bukhari, 1799, Muhammad said, never will succeed such a nation as makes a woman their ruler. So, the only way the Taliban would want a woman as their leader is if they wanted their nation to fail. In Sahih al-Bukhari 2658, Muhammad said, isn't the witness of a woman equal to half of that of a man? The women said, yes. He said, this is because of the deficiency of a woman's mind. So, women, by nature, have deficient minds. But women aren't simply deficient in intellect, they're also deficient in religion, and they're the majority in hell. In Sahih Muslim 241, Muhammad said, O women, give in charity and pray a great deal for forgiveness, for I have seen that you are the majority of the people of the fire. A wise woman among them said, Why is it, O Messenger of Allah, that we are the majority of the people of the fire? He said, you curse a great deal and are ungrateful to your husbands. I have never seen anyone so deficient in intellect and religion, more overwhelming to a man of wisdom and reason than you. Ouch. Now do you see why seasoned jihadis burst into laughter when a female journalist with an innate mental and religious deficiency asks them about electing female leaders who would doom their nation to failure? So would people be allowed to vote in women politicians? <laughs> What's with all the stupid questions? So, Taliban jihadis, when will your democratic elections be held? Tell us, Taliban jihadis, about freedom of speech under the Taliban. Hey, Taliban, what about women's rights in Afghanistan? We know what the Taliban is going to do. We know it. What have they been fighting for over the past two decades? Were they fighting to make Afghanistan more like America? Were they fighting to make Afghanistan more like Europe? Or were they fighting to impose the commands of an illiterate 7th century Arabian caravan robber on their entire nation because that's what their slave trading, captive raping, wife beating, child molesting prophet ordered them to do? The Taliban is right to laugh at Western reporters who are asking these stupid questions. What I find hilarious in all of this is that the journalists who are shocked, shocked I say, when the Taliban oppresses women are the same journalists who call us racists and bigots and Islamophobes when we explain why the Taliban oppresses women. A Western journalist goes to the Taliban and screams, ah, they're oppressing women. Then she comes to us and screams, ah, Islamophobes. Then she goes back to the Taliban and screams, ah, they hate democracy. 
Then she comes back to us and screams, ah, bigots. These journalists are like claustrophobic agoraphobes. They run outside, ah, then they run back inside, ah, they run back outside, ah, they run back inside, ah, reality is so terrifying. Oh my goodness, I'm about to start laughing. Turn off that camera.